right, guys, so I wanted to share with you the current status of my guest room. It's currently holding all of the things that I have ordered for my classroom. You've already seen everything from here back. So I'm gonna show you guys what I have recently purchased and what I got from Amazon and tell you about my plans to do that. And I'm gonna try to keep this video under 15 minutes. So fingers crossed, let's see if I can do it. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the things that I bought from Amazon. So I'll just go ahead and start right here. The very first thing that I bought were these two bar height tables. And I got some bar stools from my mother-in-law, so I plan on using these with bar stools as a part of my flexible seating this year. I'm planning to put at least three students around each table, so that will seat six students. This table is holding a lot of the stuff that I got from Amazon, so I'm just gonna go through everything and show you what I got. These are from actually from Target. They're from the dollar section. I just got these for pencil buckets. For flexible seating, I plan on having some pencil buckets just around on tables. Um, I did get some printer ink for my printer so that I can print things. And then I got this glue from Target today. Um, I have sponges for my glue sponges. I got one of these Polaroid mobile photo printers, not only for myself, but I plan on doing an Instagram wall um, in my classroom, and then once the year is over, I plan to give all the kids their pictures. So I got one of those and some film. I also, oh, more ink. <laughs> I also grabbed one of these portable clickers for a computer. I did have one last year, but unfortunately, one of my students actually broke it, so I went ahead and bought myself one. This was like $9 on Amazon, and um, I can't wait to use it. Then I also got these sit spots. I believe there's six packs of six in here, so there should be at least 36 spots. Um, I plan to use these for our assigned seating, and I just got these on Amazon. This is two packs of just plain three millimeter or three mil lamination pouches um, for laminating. I got a um, portable storage hard drive um, so that I can store things and uh, just have a little bit more storage for stuff. I grabbed this mouse pad at Target today. It's like a rose gold color and I really like it. The mouse pads that I have at school are really ugly so I thought this was really cute and it was a dollar, three dollars, so I got that. I got the Exacto School Pro pencil sharpener. I got the teacher toolbox that everybody's been getting. Um, I got the toolbox itself on Amazon for $13, and then I just spray painted it and then got the labels from Teach, Create, Motivate. I love them, they're so cute. And then I got this spray bottle because I plan on putting some lemon oil and lavender oil in with some water and just making like a relaxed spray. Last year I sprayed my kiddos with uh, lavender and lemon and they loved it so I thought I would just fill this up and make it like a relaxed spray. And then I grabbed these wall pops. They're just dry erase stickers. I plan to put these on my small group table and use them for small group. And then I grabbed I grabbed these little acrylic table signs to put my Howling Coyote behavior in, and then possibly some shout outs. They just look like this, um, and I'm just gonna slip those behavior expectations in them and just have them around the room so that there's no question about what the expectations are. I think I covered everything on this table. <clears throat> yes, I did. Okay, moving over here. So the next thing that I bought was this 30 slot mailbox. Sorry, I did not fart, that was a spell. <laughs> um, this 30 slot mailbox, it's blue. I plan to spray paint it black um, because the blue is just not gonna go and I'm not gonna have that. So I plan to paint it black. And then I also got an eight 
an eight slot one of these as well because I'm gonna have more than 30 kids so I grabbed an eight slaughter and I will as well be painting that black I haven't opened it just because I know what it looks like and I don't need to open that then I got these cool uh, round balance discs for flexible seating these are gonna be floor seats and um, I got eight of them and then I wanted to show you guys my Erin Condren planner. I love it. Um, I'm obsessed with cactuses. You guys know that. Um, but I just got the life planner because I don't like doing lesson planning in a book, in a notebook. But <laughs> my dogs are writing. But I do like to write down all my like meetings and appointments and due dates and things like that in a planner like this. And I can just kind of make it for life and work. So I got that. Moving right along. Today Jennifer and I went to Target and we bought these white buckets because we want to put our students' jackets in them. Last year we had a lot of kids throwing their jackets on the floor because there just wasn't anywhere to put them. So we we put our lunches in a tub like this um, and we just thought that having another tub for jackets would be super easy and perfect. Then I grabbed these two storage bins from Target. They came in a pack of two and um, I loved the teal color and I think they were like $8 for two or no I think it was like $5 for two of them. Um, and then there's my task card bin. Uh, Jennifer just printed the label for it and I actually did order one of these in plain white because I plan to use this one for reading task cards and then one more for math task cards. That way they're separated because I have I have a task card for every standard and reading literature, reading informational, and then all the math ones, they just wouldn't all fit in one, so I got another one. And then I found these at Michael's. They were just, they were $4 each and they're perfect for like, I might put my centers in there, I might store um, materials in there. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet, but I know there's a good purpose. These I plan to put like construction paper, cardstock, um, other types of paper in that are just loose. So that's what I plan to do with that. And I think that's everything. I plan to go to Ikea with Jennifer next week. So you guys will have to look forward to that. Um, and then I will basically be done buying for my classroom and the rest of the summer will be spent actually planning. So this is my messy guest room right now. Um, luckily my husband does not care, but, um, yeah, look at me. I did this in under 10 minutes. Uh, super good. So yeah. That is the second part of my classroom haul. Hope you guys enjoyed and got some ideas for things that you might want to get for your classroom. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video.